So the guys, welcome back to Civilization 5. Welcome back to China. Look at these scores. Look at these amazing fucking scores. Oh my god. We've got a lot of shit. We have a lot of shit. Look at our tech lead as well. Holy shit. That has really opened up. Um so, a couple of things to do this episode. Obviously, the first attack on Poland is part of it. Um, and also, try and keep an eye on this slippery little bastard down here. Um, obviously, we've got a while till we can declare war on what's-his-face. Uh, 497. That's like, that's fucking age. That's 35 turns away. So, we are peace locked with him for quite a while. So we can't stop him. If he does put a city down, I don't know what we can do about it. So that could really harm our economy. Um, I'm just hoping he can't move. I'm hoping we've blocked him there. You know what I mean? And Leventa is just going to have to deal with it. In fact, we could pay Leventa off, to be honest. Because they are getting really pissed off. Let's... Um There we go. We're allies with them. That'll do. So now they won't mind about us fucking camping in their base trying to stop this guy going anywhere. Uh, plus, will he get a penalty to set the count as a unit for the uh, relations? Or does it just... I don't know. Because I know soldiers, soldiers count as units. And they get pissed off or scared depending on whether they think you're threatening or not. Uh, right, so I'm going to keep my boats here, and are we ready to fight Poland? Is everything here? Everything's here, so we're good to go. How far can I get my artillery? Not far enough, so we'd have to edge a little bit closer. Let's do that. Oh, okay. He's probably going to notice us. <laughs> Shit. He won't see the full army. So, you know, he won't have visuals on the whole lot. So we'll sneak up as far as we can. And prepare to, uh, to hit land, basically. Uh, right. Skip, skip, skip. 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 Uh, skip, skip. Nope, skip. Alert. Skip. Skip. Let's move you guys down here. And we've got a couple of generals there as well. Where's the other artillery? There's one. Oh, there. Okay, so yeah, we've got both artilleries ready. Excellent. So this Gatling is protecting the worker. Does the worker need orders? Yeah, okay. Uh, and you, cavalry, were just healing up. Look at all this fucking oil. Oh my god. Did we get oil? Are we working on it? I think we are, aren't we? That, those guys appear to be uh, fetching us some oil. <coughs> There's also some down... Oh yeah, that worker's on his way there. Cool. Oil is on its way. Um, I'm going to leave those units stationed there. How long will it take Poland to notice that we're sneaking up on him, do you think? We can't really do anything. I mean... I don't think he can stop us. In fact, he might just be protecting his trade route there, in which case he's not going to expect us swooping in at all. I'm wondering what he saw. You can't see what they saw, you see. You might have only seen the boat. If he saw the artillery as well, then he should realise that we're coming for him. If he was a human player, he would be shitting himself by now. We've got pearls from somewhere. Oh, did we get them from that city-state I befriended? Probably. Probably. Right. How do we want to do this? I want to get some of this up onto the land, don't I? One, two, three. So that square is where I want the artillery. Let's bring you onto land. I might as well bring the general up. Uh, I definitely want a machine gun. Uh, 
And another one there. Is he going to notice that? Oh, God. I hope this is going to be okay. He's sailing on. Right, let's fence him in again. Have we got another boat anywhere that could get round there? Not in any... Yeah. Can we buy one, maybe? I'm going to buy an ironclad and just see if I can fence him off against the coast somehow. Just to get rid of the bastard. Because he's a real pain in my balls, that guy. Um, Where was I? Okay. Okay, he's got some winged hussars, and they can probably see our army. However, we are going to try and get away with one more turn before we land. I forgot about the old hussars. How strong are they? It looks like they're spears, so they're not like cavalry or anything, so we should be okay. Oh, look, we own that as well. Got no chance of getting a fucking work boat over there. That would take forever, but we own it. Do you own anything else that I need to be aware of? I don't think so. Oh, some oil there, look. Off Shanghai. As well as some fish that we've just suddenly acquired from, from nowhere. Look, we've, we've actually got quite a little bit of coastline going on for us, haven't we, really? Uh, I do like our little empire. It's quite nice. Right, where was I? Where was I? Ugh... <sighs> The big war. Oh, he's ready. We're going to have to go for it then. I just don't want him to attack our units and sink them in the water. Yeah, I'm afraid it's war, Casimir. I'm really sorry. What's attacking us? Oh, okay, he's attacking the Ironclad. That's fine. The Ironclad can take some hits. Uh, I'm more worried about the infantry, which we are de uh, the artillery, which we are definitely going to need to take down Warsaw. It's a tough cookie. It's a capital. It's level 20. It's got 60 combat strength. It is not going to be an easy task. Right. Okay, good. That's what I wanted to see. Minor defeat against the fucking Hussars. Oh, shit. Okay. Not a problem. Um, general. What about now? Still a minor defeat. Okay. No worries. Stay there, then. Um... You are going to need to move forward one and set up for firing. Now I need these fucking bodies over here. Let's move you there. I need you. You're going to have to come up the rear, who uh, misses. Uh, I need to get as many of these units to make landfall as possible. I want to bring you up. Defend you with this boat, which I'm going to put there, and you might as well just take that boat down to make life easier. You can go there, and you can go there. That looks good to me. I think we're ready to, uh, to start attacking. Uh, Ironclad out of Lisbon. Let's bring this up. Keep this guy fucking penned in if we can. Let's plunder his trade route. LOL. <laughs> uh, okay, he's pretty penned in. He's not quite fully penned in. We need another boat here and Leventa to keep their fucking artillery there. They've actually got their own artillery. Holy shit. Uh, Guangzhou. Guangzhou can have a hospital. They're going to build hospitals everywhere. Nice late game push for our score. Oh shit, here comes a hussar and it can attack that fucking artillery. It's not, luckily, it's attacking the Gatlin. My god, he's got a lot of them, hasn't he? Holy shit. He's 
got some fucking muskets and everything down there. Ooh, God, he's even damaging the ironclad quite badly. Okay. We knew he was going to be strong. So I guess that had to be expected. He's obviously not going to give up without some sort of fight. <sighs> he's got a cannon. So he's not completely backwards. I'm sure I just set that caravan going earlier. What the fuck? Uh, right, okay. Where do we want to start? Let's start with you. Oh, let's give you an insta-heal. Because you're in a dangerous position. Start by attacking him. And this guy should just be able to take him. Let's do that. Okay. Now attack that guy. Okay, right. Let's... Let's kill this one. We've got a balance sort of killing them with making space to actually get our units up. This guy's going to have to take a heal. We'll get him to attack him. And then... Let's swap you with him. And attack that guy. Okay. Set you back up. Uh, let's move you around here. Okay, right. General, stay there. The artillery... Can you go there? Let's put you there. And then, if we... do I want to move you? Yeah, I do want to move you. I want to move you and bring you in. I'm going to do that. And then, let's bring that to home waters to heal. And then, we will move this guy over there to attack it. Uh, these guys, what are they doing here? Oh, building a mine. And then, aha! We haven't quite penned this guy in. Oh, God, what a, what a pain. He's not going anywhere anytime soon, is it? We've got him pretty nicely wedged. Why have these guys woken up? Weird. Weird. Not sure why they woke up there. Uh, and this artillery can't make landfall yet. We'll want to put it there probably in a, in a turn or two. Okay. Uh, right. We still can't attack that. So we're just going to have to wait, and in Honolulu we have finished a workshop, so let's have, let's have a windmill, and we're slowly researching flight, I'm not sure how much damage we're going to be able to do here, it's got, it's got a fire, fair few units, it's not completely defenceless, is he? It looks like he's starting to churn out some muskets. Wittenberg wants culture. Panama it was derpitude. We never did get around to spreading derpitude. Peace treaty expired. Already? Oh, wow. We can probably kill his fucking settler now. Where is it? It's right there. We'll kill that in a sec. We'll take our turn first to try and get this fucking artillery out of his territory. Uh, right, so. Let's ignore that one for now. We definitely need to take this down. So let's start by attacking it with this guy. And again. 
again. Okay, that went well. And then... I'm going to push you. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong way. Never mind. Actually, that's okay, because I want to bring, bring you down there. And get rid of that. Move the general. Move the artillery back into range. Okay, cool. One artillery is ready. Sneak you around this side to plunder his trade routes. Where did that boat go? I don't know. We've lost it. I don't know where that boat went. Right. Let's keep a fucking eye on this settler, and if it does go where I don't want it to go, we're going to attack it. I'm going to try and put off attacking it, because obviously it's just it's just a pain. It means Kamehameha can broadside us um, from Tonga, which I really don't want to happen. However, if, if that's the way it's going to go, that's the way it's going to go, isn't it? So I'm not... I'm not going to be a total pussy about it, is what I'm saying. Um, let's bring you around here. And then, if I bring you in, um, bring the artillery, and then move you, and move you, and move you. You go on alert. Uh, oh, Guangzhou's pretty much done. That is a, a hill. Let's sort that final hill out. Uh, we need to move that Gatlin that's up there as well. Where was that? Up here somewhere. Keep your eye on him, because again, if if again if we attack him, he's got he's got cities everywhere. So I sort of want to try and not attack him. Do I need to heal this guy? Is a question I'm asking myself. I I feel like I don't need to. I feel like giving him cover two instead. I'm pretty sure we can do this now. The um, the artillery is in place. Because we literally, we don't have to kill these units. We've just got to hold them off and take the actual city. And I'm pretty sure that'll go down in two or three turns. Oh good, he attacked the uh, the cavalry there, which we can we can retreat him straight back round as well, so that's nice. I don't mind the cavalry soaking up a bit of the fire. That's why I gave this guy cover too as well, because I thought he might attack this guy with him being on low health. Columbo is in all of us for technology. Poland tied, so they must be getting some pretty good tech right now. Surprising. What's even more surprising is just how owned they're about to get. That is not doing anywhere near as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Look at that. Oh, shit. It's okay, though. It's okay. Because we have plans. Let's bring you over there. Ah, there's that boat. Thanks for bringing it back. <laughs> he took it out of sight and then brought it back anyway. What a dumbass. Right, what do we want to do? We would like... Okay. We need to kill this thing. Let's give it accuracy too. Okay. Let's also get you to attack it. And again... You can take those. Wow, that was brutal. Just fucking executed them. You can take that one. Uh, you can attack the city. And if we move you, then you can move down and do the same. Oh, Warsaw. Getting fucking owned. Look at this. This game could well be over before very long. Oh my god. 
I don't think they're going to be able to stop us now. I think we've uh, fucking done them. We have fucking done them. Where's that settler gone? It's still there. It's still fucking there, look. I'm going to try and keep blocking it without outright attacking it, if I can. But obviously, the moment he tries to make landfall anywhere, then I'm going to fuck him up, basically. We are not letting him fucking do it. We've had enough of his bullshit through this game. I think there's just an obsession, isn't there, with um, with building settlers. Casimir's made peace with Leventa. Is our ally state has worn off with them already? Yeah, it has. Holy shit. That cavalry's getting bombed. I really don't care. I'm happy for that cavalry to get bombed and even die in the in the taking of Warsaw. He's got some Gatlings coming and some rifles. Holy shit. Holy shit. I think it's too little too late though. I think we've got him on the ropes. So he's made a valiant effort. But it's a bit last minute, isn't it? He wasn't ready for this. He really wasn't ready for it. Um Right, start with the gats. Oh, give me that gatling gun. We'll start by attacking these rifles. I think we might just have had another great general born. <laughs> Who did we get? Timmer. Uh, go to sleep, Timmer. We're not interested in you right now. We have enough on our plate as it is. Oh, he's dead. Sweet. Um, okay. Let's attack with the artillery. I think I think we've got him. Okay, let's take this fucking settler down. Right. Oh, that feels good. That feels fucking good, doesn't it? Take that, you shitty bastard. Let's go fucking take Nuku Heaver while we're here. Uh, we'll do it on the next turn. If there is a next turn, I think we've pretty much fucking won. I just want I just I didn't want I just wanted to say I've fucking settled down. Oh god. I was I was dying for that to happen. Right, let's attack the city with the Gatlins. Fucking Gatlins, double Gatlins have been they what won us this game, basically. We would never have done it without the wonderfulness of the Chinese chocobo slash gatling combo. Um, that's it. Oh god, it might crash on us like it did last time. We'll just have to see, won't we? Got an achieve. Excellent. Poland lost his capital. Wuzuchina has won. Many great and powerful civilizations have fallen, but you have survived. Excellent. And emerged victorious. Absolutely the victorious. World will long remember your glorious triumph. Let's click the old demographics. So, oh my god, almost 20 million people lived in China by the end of it, uh, compared to a quarter of a million in Austria. Austria came out of it pretty fucked, didn't they? Um, crop yield was pretty massive. Manufactured goods and GMP were massive. Quite a lot of land. That's pretty nice. Almost quarter of a million soldiers. We had as many soldiers as Austria had people. 67% <laughs> literacy. It's not too shoddy, is it? Um, ranking. Augustus Caesar, of course. You know what this means? It means next episode we're going to have to up the difficulty. I'm going to click replay and see if it lets us do it. Last time we tried this, if you remember, it crashed. So if it crashes, then I'll just stick up some sort of screenshot while we're finished chatting. Um, otherwise, we'll see if it actually lets us see the replay for a change. So, um, yeah, next season we're going to have to increase the difficulty, I think. Because that went quite well. Although I think China's quite a strong sieve. We, we played it smart. We didn't expand too fast at the beginning. We beelined towards our unique unit, which was the double-firing crossbows. And then we relied on a, a heavy army of those that we built up into the Gatling guns. And those double-firing Gatling guns are sick powerful, aren't they? 
Um, I think all in all, we did really, really well. So it's time to move up, I think, to King Difficulty next season. Um, obviously, next season doesn't start immediately. I've got another game to play first, and then we'll have another season of Civ. I haven't decided who we're going to play the next season as. Um, let's just go back to that for a sec. So, hmm. so let's, who, who expanded first? Just, there we go. Oh, we expanded pretty well then. At turn 42, all three of us expanded on this continent. Look at that. So that's Greece, us, and Portugal. So we, we, we all did our initial expansion at pretty much the same time, so that's pretty cool. Where did it go from there? Oh, Austria expanded, look. Not long after us. Poland and Kamehameha, very slow off the mark. Third cities for Portugal and Greece went up there. These guys still on one. Uh, and so was Asa. Oh, Asa just popped his second. Holy shit, these guys were slow as balls. Obviously, we delayed getting our third city until this happened. Po Portugal put their fourth one up there. Poland's finally expanding. Kamehameha, amazingly still on just one city. Um, there we go. He's punked his second down. Usher's got a third. Venice has taken one over. Uh, we've got our third down. And then I think that's pretty much where the war started. We can't have been much longer after this. Well, it was quite a while later. I guess it took us a while to build up our army after that slow expansion. That was Poland's third city going down. Greece still only on three, we're on three. So there's only Portugal that really went for the fourth city. And she went for that pretty early. It makes me wonder if she found a settler, maybe. Because everyone else is on three. Look, that's when Kamehameha decides to like, try and dick on Poland by stealing his land. So Poland had an isolated start as well. So everyone's got their third down. And by that point, that's when, that's when the war started. That is when the war started, because that city just popped. And then China begins to slowly conquer Portugal. We took Lisbon. Then we marched straight up to Assur, if you remember. Here we go. Took Assur, took the Neva. Uh, and then Greece was the next to fall. And it took a while, because we had to march our army back over and prepare for it. But there it goes. Greece starts to fall over there. Boom, gone. Kamehameha comes over, and we kill him. And then there's quite a bit of nothing while we slowly sort of build up our army. I'm just seeing if any cities change hand on the other continent. It doesn't look like it. There's... Ah, that's where Kamehameha put down his little shitty one. And it can't be long after that that we decided to march. There's another one from him. Ah, and there's him coming back onto our land again. And we destroyed that. So then, at some point, we... Oh, that was her taking over Venice. That was what triggered us, wasn't it? And then we marched over there. Here we go. We marched over there. Kamehameha took one and raised it. We took one and raised it. And then that's Kamehameha's territory starting to fall. And then right at the very end, we take Warsaw. Can I skip to the very end? There you go. Boom. So that's the final state of play. Oh my god, it was great. What a great game. China, very fucking powerful. I enjoyed that. That was a good a good go as China. Um, it's the first time I've won as China on Civ 5. I think I've tried before and failed. and I don't, I, don't, I don't think I was aware of how powerful those crossbows are when you upgrade them. But anyway, that's the end of this season, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.